a little bit 70s country girl kind of vibe, a beautiful classic dress for autumn winter. I feel a bit like a Charlie's Angel to be honest. <laughs> Hi, welcome to our channel. Thank you so much for joining us. So this week we are doing a mango haul. Uh, we've not done one of these before, so we thought we'd give it a go and see what you guys think. So first up is this lovely outfit I'm wearing. I've got the Mickey Mouse embroidered t-shirt, um, which I really, really like. It's part of a, it's an anniversary of Mickey Mouse. I think it might be 65 years. I could have that completely wrong. Uh, but yeah, so we're seeing loads of different Mickey Mouse things uh, on the high street at the minute um, to celebrate their anniversary. So this is embroidered actually, which is quite a nice detail. They've already done the thing on the sleeves that I really like and they already had turn ups. I've just gone over again and ironed it in position just because I think that's the perfect length really for a nice sort of shape on your arm. So yeah, really nice detail with the embroidery. I've kind of got some embroidery here on the neck. I've tucked it into the trousers to be honest, Mickey Mouse t-shirt's gonna go with pretty much anything. So you could wear it with jeans or whatever, and dress it down, dress it up. But I think that's quite a nice look. And if you can get away with it, I'd wear this sort of thing for work. So the trousers are a bit of a swerve for me because obviously I kind of live in my jeans a lot, but I saw them on their website and I thought, I'm gonna give them a go because it's something different and I really like the color. And to be honest with you, the fit is perfect. So I'm a UK 10 and bought a size 10. Um, and I would say definitely true to size. You've always got the tie belt here um, and it sits really high. So in terms of high waistedness, it's about as high as you can get. But actually, I think that's quite flattering. It kind of gives you a nice smooth line down rather than some of them can make you feel a bit too mum tum ish <laughs> I'll stand back a bit so you can see what I put on my feet. So I've worn it with just some high boots that came from Zara. Um, I have bought some boots from Mango actually, which I'll show you in a minute, but I didn't think they'd particularly go with this. Now, I quite like it with high boots, but I think it would look even nicer if I had uh, loafers on. And I did buy some really lovely loafers the other day from other stories, uh, but I'll have to show you in another video because um, they've not arrived yet. So personally, I think that with loafers, to so sort of tone it down, go quite flat on the bottom half, I think that would look really nice. So yeah, personally for me, I'd probably dress that down a little bit with some flats or some loafers, but I'm really chuffed with those. I think it's a really nice outfit, something different, really nice fit, uh, yeah, something different. So next up is this gorgeous winter coat. Now I found this because I was particularly looking for autumn winter classic coats. A classic coat will never go out of fashion. And certainly in this kind of camel color, it, you know, season after season after season, you can wear it. Um, and I really like the color of this one. I think that camel is quite a hard one to, to find the perfect color. Um, so it's more sort of sand than anything too orangey. And that really suits me personally. I really like that. It's not 100% wool, obviously, for the price, but in terms of value for money for what you do get, I think that's a really nice style. So in terms of wearing this coat, obviously that you could wear it in so many different ways. It's a great coat for work, um, just a general kind of smart-ish look that you could dress up and down as you chose. I've dressed it underneath as if I was going out for a drink, um, just to show you that equally these classic kind of coats can work with other kind of on-trend items underneath. So keeping it simple with the t-shirt, but adding like a, a leather trouser or a faux leather trouser underneath. I love that kind of wool look with faux leather. I think those two textures look really nice as well. It's a perfect fit. So again, it was a UK 10. Um, and a good test of that is if your shoulder pads or the shoulder seam sits exactly on your shoulder bone, which it is. So yeah, perfect size 10, I would say. Um, yeah, just a really nice shape, something that will probably last you for donkey's years and um, not hugely expensive. So a good buy, I think, with something like that.
So this next item is obviously along those kind of prairie dress vibes that we've been talking a lot about for autumn winter. But it's quite a nice alternative to some of the other prairie dresses that traditionally would be really floral and quite bohemian. This one obviously in the check is a bit more, I don't know, western vibe I suppose. So we're seeing like different kind of prints with prairie which is a nice mixture. So we saw lots of monochrome, lots of checks. And I think that was quite a nice balance to kind of go a little bit 70s country girl kind of vibe um, and I really really like this. Um, so you've got buttons all the way down so you could have it as open or you can button it up all the way if you wanted up to here. For me that was a little bit too straight laced so I opened it just to there. Um, not that, that I've got any cleavage to show whatsoever but just because I think it's a bit more relaxed. And I added a belt simply because I felt it needed taking in a bit. I mean, it's a size, if I take this off, you can have a look. So again, I would have bought UK 10. Um, and it's kind of got a waistband detail, but it doesn't, it doesn't fit perfectly. So it just felt like it needed cinching in. Nice deep pockets as well, which I love pockets in dresses. I think that's quite a feminine, kind of pretty look. So I'm really chuffed with that. I think it's a nice alternative for autumn winter of the prairie trend. Uh, just a bit different actually i've not seen i've not seen one as nice in a check as this one i think so i've paired it with some boots that came from mango now they are kind of along that kind of vibe if i go back you can probably see a little bit better i'm having to get in the wall <laughs> i think i need a wider room to be able to do youtube videos anyway so yeah so they are kind of the cowboy theme which we're seeing loads of so this autumn winter, it's cowboy boots, but a shorter version, so not coming all the way up to your calf. Kind of this crop length is perfect, or even a little bit shorter as well. They're really in for this autumn winter. And I have to say, the leather on those is such great quality. You can feel it straight away. It's very soft. It feels like a Napa leather. I mean, I'm sure it isn't, but it feels like that. Uh, so really nice quality, really nice fit. They're not so pointy that my feet are absolutely going to kill. I think they will probably be boots that I could wear on a daily basis, you know, with all my jeans and everything, if I'm just running around, because they're wide enough that it's not going to kill your feet, but they still look quite cool as well. So I'm really, really, really chuffed with those. I think they'll look nice with skinnies. I'd wear those with dresses, with skirts, lots of the pleated skirts. I like them a lot. I think I'll wear them a lot. So yeah, all in all, a nice outfit, that one. I am really chuffed with that. Definitely the sort of thing I would wear. I feel very comfortable. Uh, yeah, my cup of tea. So next up is my bit of a random swerve, a full jumpsuit in denim. Now, I saw this on the website and thought, I like the shots, but then sometimes when you look at the flat shot of an item, you kind of think, yeah, is that gonna work? Even when it arrived, to be honest with you, I was thinking, I'm not sure. It didn't look very much you know, on the hanger. I think this is one of those pieces that you have to try on because actually now I've put it on, I really, really love this jumpsuit. Um, the fit is perfect. It feels quite slimming. I feel quite nice. I feel a bit like a Charlie's Angel, to be honest. It's very this season, autumn, winter is 70s trend. It's perfect for that trend. It's unusual, actually, because I don't ever buy jumpsuits. As I keep saying, and then I keep wearing jumpsuits, so maybe I should stop saying that because I'm in another jumpsuit and I don't wear them. But I really, really like this. I should add that I bought it in a size medium, which I think in a UK would be a 12. Um, I'm not a size 12, I'd be a UK eight on the top, 10 on the bottom. But my body's long, so I knew I needed a bit more length in here. And to be honest with you, that just fits. Um, I, but I certainly couldn't go any smaller, it would never fit the length there. And in fairness as well, that's pretty snug everywhere else as well. So maybe this comes up small or maybe it's just one of those that you do need to size up anyway because I don't think anywhere I could have gone any smaller and I'm in a medium. If you like this as much as I do, I would advise sizing up because I don't think the fit is very um, giving. In terms of shoes, I've put it with, if I stand back, you can see my shoes. I've put it with my Chloe 
they're all hidden. Uh, my Chloe uh, boots that I got on uh, Vesta Collective. But anyway, I put it with those because part of that sort of 70s trend is obviously you need a round toe. So the pointy boots I don't think really go so well. So all in all, I do really like this. It was a bit of a swerve, but it surprised me how much I like it as something a bit different, very on trend for an autumn winter and really reasonable price as well. So this next look is obviously very perfect for work, but equally for going out for dinner, but a bit smarter. If you need to go somewhere smarter, it's a bit more dressed up. So the trousers are that jumbo cord uh, style. They're really high-waisted and really wide leg. Um, the fit is lovely, actually. It sits really nice on the waistband, fits lovely behind. I was gonna say on the behind, but on my behind. <laughs> yeah, fits nicely. Um, again, the only thing with mango trousers is that they're very long. Um, I'm not sure where the brand is from. Is it Spain? Perhaps yeah. Spanish girls have very long legs, but um, I don't have as long legs as them. But I'm not going to mark them down for that, because to be honest, for the sake of eight quid, I can take them to a tailor and have them taken up properly. Because if you find the perfect shaped trouser, that's worth keeping. And if it's just a matter of the length isn't quite for you, that's an easy fix, basically. Finding the perfect fit is the harder bit. So I do really like the shape of those. They fit lovely. I've put them with a, a white top, which I'll show you in a sec, and just kind of put a scarf on for autumn winter. This one came uh, from Coconut Sunday, so it wasn't a mango scarf. I just like all those tones together. I think it's quite classic, quite elegant, but then still you've got an edge of some of the trends that are coming through for autumn winter as well, which is why I really like it. Now, the top. Let's address the top. We opened it out and there is a big slice, if we can see, a nice hole there. Then we've got another hole going on there. So perhaps there was an issue with this particular top, but quality control, not marvelous on that, to be honest. To let something go out the door that's got two giant holes in it is a bit bad, to be honest. And a big shame actually, because I do really like this shirt in terms of the shape of it. I think it's a nice blouse. It's kind of um, slightly silky kind of fabric. It feels lovely. I like the shape, it's that wide arm. I mean, I've pulled it up a bit there. Slight back wing kind of shape to the arms there. So in actual fact, I probably would have worn that a lot with jeans and blazers and you know, all the way through autumn winter with various different things you could blend it with but with two holes in it, I can't, obviously. So that's a real shame, actually. Um, but we're going to not hold it against them because we've had so many nice items from Mango in that it's perhaps, we'll put it down to, it's just one of those things, it slips through the net. But yeah, two holes, Mango, not sure about that. So next up is this gorgeous sweater, which is perfect for autumn winter. Obviously I've got it in a very classic kind of color. There was a couple of colors on their website, I believe, um, but for me, cream just works really well with everything, to be honest. I like it with these trousers. I like that kind of, those two tones together. I'd probably wear it with skinnies, I'd wear it with velvet trousers. Um, it's really soft, really cozy, and obviously roll necks are really in for this autumn winter. Um, if I take the sleeves down, it's, it, you know, it's one of those big snuggly jumpers that's actually really cozy and really lovely for autumn winter. I've just tucked it under because I quite like that. And if I was wearing slightly lower jeans, I might do a bit of a tuck in, which I quite like. Um, and then when it's down, it's just like that, which probably doesn't work well with these trousers to wear it kind of down like that. That might work quite nice when you've got skinnies on, I think. And equally, you could kind of add a belt, wear it with a pleated skirt. That would look quite nice as well. So very versatile, really snuggly, um, really like this jumper a lot. Now 
and last but not least, a very different look to some of the others that we bought from Mango, but I saw this dress on there and thought it was beautiful. I've got a couple of nice dinners coming up uh, through October and November, so I thought I needed something a bit more dressed up, a bit slinky, that I felt really comfortable in. And I think this is the perfect dress for that situation. The fabric's beautiful. So I love this kind of high neck on it. It feels quite classic, lovely sort of shape fitted to here. And then from a bit of an elastic at the waist, I think, and then it just cuts on the bias as you go down, that kind of slinky shape. It's got a split on the side here. Oh, on both sides actually. So if I just stand back, you can kind of see a bit clearer. Lovely slinky dress for a special occasion or a nice dinner that you're going out to. I think this is really stunning. The neck is quite unusual actually. So if I just unroll this, so that is how it comes like that. So you've just got that neck sitting there and then you just kind of wrap this piece around. Um, and I left it hanging at the back. You could have it hanging at the front, but I think that back is so beautiful. I quite like the simple elegance of that really without I think at the front it might look a bit too fussy, so I quite like that hanging at the back, whether you meant to or not, I'm not really sure. So yeah, I'm really chuffed with that. Obviously completely different to what we've shown you already, but a beautiful classic dress for autumn winter. So that's it, thank you so much for watching our first ever Mango haul. Hopefully you liked it. Do let us know in the comments section. We'd love to hear from you and it's lovely chit-chatting with you on there, so thank you for all those comments. And as ever, don't forget to find us on Instagram at Fashion and Style Edit, and we shall see you next time. Bye.